breaking welcome to today's news from wherever you're listening from stay tuned as i read today's news i decided to try out some of the methods used by zubi to kidnap children and adults in the movies a self-confessed kidnapper who was arrested by the police in hogu state was allegedly abducting a private school pupil has revealed that he learned the act of kidnapping from watching Nollywood actor Zubi Michael's movie. The 23 year old suspect, Ayobam Deli Kundus Ayodeli, had abducted the six year old boy from his school in Hojualaba, area of Lagos on november 16 2021 and kept him hostage for four days until a ransom of 550 000 naira was paid for his release according to vanguard i already said to be my is my favorite nollywood actor and he's good at keeping rules keeping kidnapping rules sorry i decided to try out some of the method used by Zubi to kidnap children and adults in the movies. I started I started by visiting several schools around Hojo to see the possibility of picking children without anyone noticing. On November 16, 2021, I visited a school close to Alaba Market and stayed by the gate. I saw two people coming to school. One of them was Odin Kane. I stopped them and started chatting with them. I took the cane from one of them and asked where and asked where he bought it. He mentioned the place, but I told him to take me there. I whispered in his ear that I would buy him chocolates and biscuits. To avoid drawing attention to myself, I took the boy to an hotel in Hulubu, Hiramu, Lagos. I called his father and demanded for additional two million naira. We spent for this we spent four days there before his family was able to raise to raise five hundred and fifty thousand naira. The boy stayed calm throughout because he had access to my phone, which had several games. I'm sorry for causing his family so much pain. I'm not a courtist or an hammerbad. I did not have a gang. I just trained myself by watching Zubi's my game. My parents trained me very well. I'm just not I'm just impatient and greedy. Dear listeners, we've come to the end of today's news. Please let's check the comment section. Let's see what people view is all about this news. I have a first comment here. Which says who is bad is bad. Influence is by self-resolve. Enough of trying to tarnish people's image. Who have caved in hinge and hinge of for themselves. This is 2022. And talking down on people is not welcome in any form. Meanwhile, it's very wrong to put Zubi Michael's picture over the suspect on. I have another comment here which says, Anybody can learn anything from movies. Movies gives you all view of life. Some people can gain inspiration from movies and her in the best time of their life. You can actually be what you want to be. But don't forget movie always gives you the possible end of every action. You guys know what that means. Make the best of make the best out of your life, get the right inspiration. I have another comment which is not only him the nigerian movie the nigerian film are affected by fate in christ before but when i stopped watching it i gained back my spiritual power many have become prayerless including those that will respond on my comments below week in reading bible perfect stealing and cheating don't complete her loss and her a good etc by watching this 
Nigeria movies. I have another comment here, which says, "Our Nigeria movie is doing more than more harm than good to our children." Imagine what a twenty-three old said when they concentrate, when they centered their acting on ritual, on ritual courtism, and the rest fifty percent of the youth are into ritual with no value of human value of human life. Shame to our movie industry. Then I also have a comment here, which says, "This is simply affinity." They watch many movies, both ones that make children become more intelligent and useful in the family and society at large, but they choose to concentrate on the one that, put, that portrays kidnapping skills. No amount of excuse can justify their action. Zubis Michael may be laughing in Chinese when he hears this. This the movie he acted as a reverend father. <laughs> They did not emulate it, but choose kidnapping. It's simply infinity, my brother. The propensity to commit crime has always been there. Well, this last comment I was reading here was really saying the right thing that I do think about the news. My view about this news is that watching a movie, watching a movie is not. I don't think that's the appropriate thing that makes the guy, which we called him uh, Ayodele Kunduz, to kidnap um, a, a primary school child. That's not the appropriate thing. But as for me, I'm also happy he said the truth about his parents, that his parents tra trained him. Or he was the one that was impatient and greedy. This is not all about movie. It's, a, it's all about uh, uh, his own personal attitude. It's not about movie. Like for me, what I have to say is that Zubi Michaels, Zubi Michaels, that's not the roles he takes in his in his movies. There are some parts he has done reverend. There are some parts he has done many good things. Why can't the guy? Emulate that part. Oh, he has a devilish art. So please, people, do drop by the comment section and let's see what all your views are about the news today. Thank you.